So kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, huwag kalimutang mag-like and subscribe. So di ko na patatagalin pa for today's video. Pag-aaralan natin kung paano naman mag-add ng like and unlike fractions. At kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung video ko about introduction to fractions, just click the link in the description below. So, quick review lang tayo. Ano nga ba yung like and unlike fractions? So, sa fractions, okay, yung nasa taas yung ating numerator at yung nasa baba naman is our denominator. So, sa like fractions, okay, uh, pare-parehas ang uh, denominator ng mga fractions in a group. So, for example, we have one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. At sa unlike fractions naman, okay, magkakaiba yung denominator ng group of fractions. For example, we have 3 eighths, 2 sixteenths, and 12 forties. So, paano nga ba mag-add ng like fractions? So, una, i-add natin yung numerator and then, kokopyahin na lang natin yung denominator. So, for example, we have 1 fourth plus 2 fourth. So, i-add natin yung numerator which is 1 and then, uh, yung numerator ng isa pang given fraction, which is 2. So, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And then, kukopihin lang natin yung denominator, which is 4. So, 1 fourth plus 2 fourth is equal to 3 fourths. Okay, so next example, we have 2 eighths plus 3 eighths. So, again, in this case, okay, i-add natin yung numerator, which is 2 and 3. Okay, so 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. At kukopihin lang natin yung denominator which is 8. So 2 eighths plus 3 eighths is equal to 5 eighths. So for example, we have 5 over 9 plus 7 over 9. So um, i-add natin yung numerator which is 5 plus 7. Okay, so we have 12. And then kukopihin lang natin yung denominator which is 9. So, in this case, pwede pa natin siyang i-reduce to its lowest form. So, kukunin natin yung greatest common factor. So, paano nga ba mag-reduce ng fractions to its lowest form? Meron akong ginawang separate video about that. Just click the link on the description below. Okay, so we have 12 over 9. Ang greatest common factor nila is 3. Okay, so we divide both by 3. Okay, so makukuha tayong 12 divided by 3 is 4. And then 9 divided by 3 is 3. Okay, so sulat natin yan dito. Okay. Ngayon, convert naman natin itong improper fraction sa mixed fraction. Okay, so we have, we will divide the numerator, which is 4, sa kanyang denominator, which is 3. So 4 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3, 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay, so ito yung ating whole number, and then ito yung ating numerator and the denominator. So, yung ating final answer is 1 and 1 third. So, next example, we have 3 over 14 plus 5 over 14. Okay, so, i-add lang natin yung numerator. So, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. And then, we copy the denominator, which is 14. Okay, so, i-reduce natin yung answer to its lowest form. Okay, so, kukunin natin yung kanyang greatest common factor. In this case, ang greatest common factor ng 8 and 14 is 2. So, we divide both by 2. Okay. So, 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then, 14 divided by 2 is 7. Okay, so, ang ating lowest form is 4 over 7. So, 3 over 14 plus 5 over 14 is 4 over 7. So, paano naman mag-add ng unlike fractions? Okay, so, ano nga yung unlike fractions? Ibig sabihin magkaiba yung denominator ng ating fractions. Okay, and to do that, or to solve addition of unlike fractions, i-convert muna natin yan to like fraction. So, paano natin yung gagawin? Kukunin natin yung least common denominator or yung LCD. Okay, and how to get the LCD? Okay, we will multiply yung denominator to 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on hanggat makuha natin yung least common nilang dalawa. 
Okay, so we have, in this case, we have 1 fourth plus 1 twelfth. Okay, so ililista muna natin yung, okay, so 4. So 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16. Okay. And then, kukunin naman natin yung sa 12. Okay, so 12, we have 12, 24, 36, 48. Okay, so, meron na tayong nakikitang parehas, okay? Na number sa 4 and 12. Okay, so, in the least common is 12. Okay, so, ang ating least common denominator is 12. So, yun na yung ating magiging denominator para sa ating like fraction. Okay, so, we'll convert 1 fourth. Okay. So, ito na yung ating LCD. So, we divide it sa ating um, given denominator. So, 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then, multiply yan sa numerator. So, 3 times 1 is 3. Okay. okay so, we get 3 over 12. Dahil yung susunod na given ay ang denominator is already 12, hindi na natin siya i-convert kasi like fractions sa sila. Okay, so we have 1 over 12. Okay, so i-add natin yung numerator. So 4, and then we copy the denominator. Okay, so we have 4 over 12. Okay, at since itong answer natin can still be reduced to its lowest form, kukunin natin yung GCF or greatest common factor. In this case, ang greatest common factor nila is 4. So, we divide both by 4. Okay, so, ang answer natin is 4 divided by 4 is 1. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay, so, ang ating final answer is 1 third. So, 1 fourth plus 1 twelve is equivalent to 1 third. Okay, so, next example, we have 1 half plus 1 third. Okay, so... Um, ililista natin yung multiples ng ating denominator which is 2 and 3. Okay, so we have 2. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, and then we have 3. So ililista din natin yung kanyang multiples. So 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay. So hanapin natin yung least common multiple. In this case, ang least common multiple is 6. At ito yung ating magiging least common denominator. So, ang magiging denominator natin para sa ating like fractions ay 6. Okay, so, co-convert natin yung 1 half. Okay, ang denominator natin is 6. So, we divide 6 by 2. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then, multiply natin siya dito sa numerator. So, 3 times 1 is equivalent to 3. Okay. And then, yung ating second naman na given, we have 1 third. Okay. So, ating numer uh, denominator is 6. So, we divide it by 3. And the answer is 2. And then, multiply it sa 1. Okay. So, we have 2 over 6. Okay. So, Ang um, equation natin ngayon is 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6. Okay, so we um, add yung numerator. Okay, this is the procedure sa pag-add ng like fractions. Okay, so we have 3 plus 2 is equivalent to 5. And then, kukopyahin lang natin yung denominator which is 6. So, 1 half plus 1 third is equivalent to 5 over 6. Easy. Okay, so, next example, we have 3 over 5 plus 5 over 6. Okay, so, co-convert muna natin ito to like fractions. And to get that, we will be looking for the least common denominator. Okay, so, ilista natin yung uh, multiples ng ating denominator. So, we have 5. Okay, so, ilista natin. So, we have 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, and then... We get naman the multiples of 6. So, 6, 12, 18, 24. Okay. 
So, nakaapat na tayo, no? Pero wala pa rin tayong common, okay? On both sides ng 5 and 6. So, itutuloy lang natin ito. So, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay, and then dito naman sa 6. So, we have 30, 36, 42. Okay, so meron na tayong nakikitang list, okay, or uh, nakikitang list common, okay, which is the number 30. Okay, so ito yung ating magiging denominator. Okay, so we have 3, or 5, then we put 30 here as our denominator, and then divide natin yan sa ating uh, given denominator. 30 divided by 5 is 6 times 3 sa ating numerator. Okay. So, 6 times 3 is 18. Okay. And then, yung ating susunod na given, which is 5 over 6. Okay. So, we put 30 here. Okay. And then, i-divide ulit natin ito. Okay. So, 30 divided by 6 is 5. And then, we multiply it sa ating numerator. Okay, so, 5 times 5 is 25. So, ang equation na natin ngayon is 18 over 30 plus 25 over 30. So, dahil like fractions sa sila, okay, kukopyahin lang natin yung denominator and then we add the numerator which is 18 and 25. So, we have 3 and 4. So, 43 over 30. So, meron tayong improper fraction and now we will convert it to mixed fraction. So, paano natin gagawin siyang mixed fraction? We will divide the numerator sa denominator. So, 43 divided by 30. That is 1. 1 times 30. Okay, is 30. 43 minus 30 is 13. Okay, so ating, it, this is, will be our um, whole number. Ito yung ating numerator and then yung ating denominator. So, the answer will be 1 and then 13 over 30. So, 3 over 5 plus 5 over 6 is equivalent to 1 and 13 over 30. So, kung nagustuhan nyo ang video na to, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.